It's about that time, people. UFL is back, and we got some good matchups this week. First, we have the reigning UFL champs, Rep City. Best defense two years straight, league MVP Adi, who led the number two offense, Johnny Rockstar winner Bulto, championship MVP Shady, second round draft pick Cabby. This team's accolades show why they are the reigning champs and they are ready to defend their throne. They face street fan, finishing third in the East with the number two defense. Their Achilles heel? They couldn't find the end zone if they were standing in it. Enter first round pick, Sherm, a guy who can turn any five yard play into six points. Second round pick, BG, a dangerous two way player and the new muscle stepping in for the retired B Roy. Street fam staples Shaw and Prodigy, who are no strangers to high level play. And then there's two time UFL champion and former championship MVP slasher at QB. He's underestimated when compared to other QBs in his division, but he's always willing to turn haters into believers. Here we have Dem Gettas fresh off of a Final Four appearance. But they start this season without three-peating champion quarterback Chuck and Coach Pams. Some would say it's hopeless, but drafting TFL Swiss Army Knife Ream in the first round and Dave, a.k.a. the Juggernaut, in the second round, they definitely added some firepower. With Stevie at quarterback, can he achieve what the GOAT could not? They face a young primetime team stacked with talent and Coach Tiki looking to go all the way this year. Losing free safety, Meek and cornerback Leak is a big loss. But with rising star Medi, a walking highlight film in Leal and new draft edition Sal on the team, the only question left is will Southpaw quarterback Chris survive competing with TFL's best on a weekly basis? Next up, the Monarchs, one of the top teams in the UFL for the last three years with a chip to prove it. With them falling short last season and Ramsey leaving the league, they were able to win the first round pick in spite of it all. Pulling a Kevin Durant to Golden State move, Cass and Mike drafted three-time UFL champion and two-time league MVP Chuck as Ramsey's replacement. With the last pick in the second round, they get three-time UFL champion and a TFL Hall of Famer Akon. They also stole defensive back leak in free agency from primetime. With top five TFL coach Pams running the show, this team is hungrier than ever to win a championship. They face UTF, a team that went from winning a championship to reaching the final four, to losing a wild card game. Don't call it a disaster because the word disaster would laugh at this team. Time to rebuild. First, you sign UFL championship coach Tone, who won with Super Friends, one of the most respected in the game. Then the return of quarterback Jeremy with their first pick, the only quarterback to beat Chuck for a chip and stop his four-peat. In the second round, they draft Ka, whose potential mirrors some of the best players in the game. The resurgence of Rico in good health, whose talent comes second only to his leadership. Of course, Coach Tone brings along Kenny, Mace, and H.O. to the party, because why not? Owner Mike Santos is willing to put in the funds, but will it equal a championship? Don't Sleep is trying to bounce back after last year's horrendous season. They brought in Jeremy last year, but it did not pan out for either side, so Mick returns to the helm, a top-five quarterback in 2022 winning Rookie of the Year. In the first round, they drafted the human cheat code Alex, a two-time UFL champion. In the second round, they drafted Shannon, the most electrifying player in TFL, former Offensive Player of the Year, adding him to the offense with team owner Joel, who has the ability to put any defense on skates. They still have all-star MVP Mike, a great defender whose loyalty can never be questioned. With former Blocker of the Year, Shaq, Mick should have all the time in the world. This might be the best team they had in years. Don't sleep, or you might wake up upset. PME won the Western Conference running through two goats before losing to the final boss. League MVP Adi and Rep City in the championship. This season they return without two-time UFL champion and championship MVP Swiss who has retired. 
time to make some additions. First, they draft Henry the Villain, a dominant two-way player who was voted by his peers as the best player in TFL. Next is Superman Wes, whose nickname definitely suits his ability on the field. Their captain, Jaquan, a former Offensive Player of the Year, is back after a devastating injury in the offseason. Gotta mention all the homegrown talent this team possesses as well. That just leaves Rel at quarterback. Rel has the talent to match the best, but his decisions can have him a step behind. Coach Doughboy and PME just had a chip taken from them. They not trying to leave empty-handed again. GTM are fresh off beating the Browns for the last spot in the UFL and are ready to make noise. Flo leads this team with his championship experience and fiery coaching style. They first draft Slutty, an offensive assassin who can score from anywhere on the field. Second round, they select Santana, a former UFL champion, a defensive mastermind with the ability to figure out any offense. This leaves Lou Rockets behind center. He can make any throw, anytime, anywhere. This team is loud. This team is fun. This team is here to get that money. And they face LES. Just two seasons ago, this team was playing for a championship. Last year, all they did was play themselves to a wild card loss. It's all or nothing now. Coach Bills and the Raiders got all their chips on the table. They drafted a former league MVP, Corey, and his combined 42 touchdowns in two seasons to boost their offense. Second round, they bring back Jay Will, who has more talent on his worst day than most of TFL's best. JJ moves from quarterback to receiver, and his knowledge makes him a dangerous wideout. Joel leads the defense, an underrated linebacker that can hurt you in many ways. They sign free agent Meek, who has more takeaways than a kid's math problem. Let's not forget Grubhub Spud. He definitely works on Saturdays and delivers on both sides of the ball. LES is trying to raid the Church League and steal a championship. All these teams fighting for a championship, but who will be the ones holding up that check? It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again